Hello again, I'm Paul Friedman, founder of the Marriage Foundation. And this topic is such a great topic, so educational, so important. I hope you have already seen part one. This is part two. In this video, I am going to explain to you the eight rules of love. And it's coming from a very different place than pop culture or trendy ideas. This is the real deal. This is where you learn to match up your behavior, your speech, even your thoughts with what you believe to be love for your spouse. This is a way of measuring that. So for instance, the first one is loyalty. Loyalty is a rule of love. One of the problems in our world is that we've been exposed to that old time religion where we think of God as the headmaster of a school. Yes, life is a school. We learn in this school how to behave, how to love, how to care for others, how to behave. But we think in terms of God being the headmaster. And if you don't do what he tells you, you're going to get a smack on the hand or worse. In some religions, they talk about throwing you into eternal damnation, that God does that. I don't agree with that. I don't believe that. And I had a friend, I used to call him Joe the Baptist. He was the preacher at the Southern Baptist Church near where I lived. I met him at a Starbucks and we had long conversations. And I told him, I said, Joe, I have a problem with your religion. Just one problem. And that is that in your religion, you guys talk about throwing people into eternal damnation. I said, it just doesn't jive with a loving God. And his response, I expected him to explain it, but he was, I agree with you. The world is evolving, not just technologically, but in many ways. And in this way, we have to understand that God is a loving God. So the rules that he gives us, the moral code, are rules for us. They are for us to experience happiness. And when we step out of the straight and narrow, you might say, well, that's not God's fault. That's us being stupid and we pay for it because there's laws. There's laws, universal laws. Cause and effect is not just what happens when you add bleach to water and it sterilizes everything. There's cause and effect that's universal. They call it karma. Everyone's agreed to use that word now. It's become accepted. And there is a karmic repercussion for doing things that don't work. Why? Because our job is, as a human being, to learn to be ourselves, our true selves, which is the soul. Hence the term soulmate, you found your soulmate and you wanna be connected with them. And so you wanna operate based on rules of love. Well, the first rule of love is loyalty. It's the highest law. And I'm not going to lecture you. That's not the idea here. It's to give you some understanding and let you also think about it. What is this loyalty? And what is loyalty? So if you're the wife, for instance, and your husband has a craving for you sexually, is it loyal or disloyal to turn him down? You know the answer. That was kind of rhetorical, wasn't it? If you're the husband, and your wife wants you to listen to her because women have more of a need to express. It lets them hear themselves and understand what they themselves were experiencing and you don't have time for them. Are you being loyal or disloyal? 
or if you're correcting her all the time, is that loyal or disloyal? So loyalty is not just not having sex with someone else. Obviously, that is true. It's deeper than that. And that's the first law. That's the highest law, is the law of loyalty. So I didn't think this would take so long to get into the explanations, but I think it's a good idea, don't you? So like the video, and then there will be another one that has rule number two, and we'll just keep going. And, you know, maybe I'll get a couple of rules in one video. I don't know. But like the video, I'm Paul Friedman. I founded the Marriage Foundation. Definitely go to our website. See what all we have to offer because we're changing the game when it comes to marriage. We're talking about marriage the way it's meant to be. It's meant to be the happiest place in your life, filled with love, happiness, and harmony. And when you know what you're doing, that's exactly what you get. God bless you and see you next time. Take care.